Hey, good people. So I just kind of wanted to take a moment to just share a moment that um, I had this weekend. So this weekend, I was kind of just, you know, um, a little emotional. And I was like, you know, God, I feel like I need to cry. And, you know, a friend had called me and they were like, what's wrong? And I was like, you know, I just feel like I just need to cry. I just need to, you know, I just need to cry. And they were like, well, cry, you know, go ahead and cry. And I was like, well, you know, I can't be crying and stuff. You know, I said, because I got to be, I got to be strong. I got to be tough, you know. And, um, you know, they were kind of like, like, you know, you ain't in prison no more, right? Just go ahead and cry. Cry. It's okay. And um, so I was like, well, you know, you're right. So I went home and, and you know, kind of relaxed. And I got into bed and I turned off the lights and I covered up my head and I just cried and cried and cried and cried and cried and cried. Y'all. And when I got done, I said, well, you know, why am I feeling like this? What what do I really, what am I crying about? Girl, what's wrong with you? What are you crying for? But it was in that moment that I realized it wasn't one thing that I was crying about. It was a lot of things that I was crying about, y'all. Going all the way back to childhood, from just examples, just being eight years old and losing my father and just just having low self-esteem and dealing with people just talking about you and, you know, all of these things and being 17 and having my dreams and my hopes snatched away from me and just going to prison at 19 for the rest of my life, so they said, and never being able to see the light of day and all the feelings and emotions that come along with that and being separated from your family and not being able to see them and love on them and people dying and you missing out on your your nieces or your nephews or your children or whoever being raised I, I cried and I grieved for all of those things losing my favorite aunt while I was locked up and not being able to be there for her and you know attend her funeral and just getting married and having children and just being able to live a normal life like normal people do y'all I cry for all of those things I cry for the way that the injustice system did me and my loved one y'all and how they just threw us out like yesterday's garbage and didn't care anything about the truth all they wanted was a conviction I cried and I cried. I cried for my sisters that I had to leave behind that I think about almost daily because somebody's always calling me or sending me a a text through getting out and I know the struggle and I know the things that they have to go through and the things that they have to deal with that people out here don't know and they don't talk about. But I will never, ever, ever, ever forget what it's like to be behind that fence and the things that you have to deal with. I cried for them too and I just cried and cried y'all and I have a whole list of other things that I cried for I cried for the past I cried for the present I cried for the future and I didn't care I'm talking about I had me one of them good old ugly cries and don't act like y'all know what I'm talking about because y'all know when, when the tears just rolling and the snot running all down in your mouth and you, <laughs> y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. I had one of those cries. I haven't had one of those cries since I was a little bitty girl, but it felt so good, y'all. It was everything I wanted to say in tears, but there was so much healing behind that cry. There was so much release behind that cry. There was so much letting go of things that I've been holding on to for years behind that cry. Don't ever let anybody tell you it's not okay to cry. Don't ever put yourself in a in a situation or in the mind frame of telling yourself that it's not okay to cry. God let us cry for a reason. He knew we would need to cry. So I'm here to tell you today that if you need to cry, cry, release it, let it go. Cry, cry, cry some more, because I'm sure I'm going to cry some more. It might not be today, it might not be tomorrow, it might not be a month from now, but I know I'm going to need to cry again. But I have a certain freedom now about crying, about showing my emotions. It's okay, y'all. Tears are a release. So do what you got to do. 
so that you can go ahead and be the best you that you can be and that you can be that great person that you want to be and you can live your absolute best life. Let the tears flow. It's okay to cry.